Welcome my dear friends. In this video, we're going to show you how to install Kali Linux on VirtualBox. Let's start with a quick overview, especially for those who's new to VirtualBox. Basically, computer is a collection of hardware and software. Virtual machine is nothing but a virtual computer, set up inside a real computer. This idea opens up a lot of possibilities for learners and professionals. Finally, VirtualBox is a free application used to set up these virtual machines. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start. Step 1. Please install VirtualBox and VirtualBox extension pack. Most of you might have already done this, so I'm not going to show it screen by screen. I have provided the download links in the description. Please download VirtualBox installer from here. Double click to open. And follow the on screen instructions to complete the installation. Similarly, please download VirtualBox extension pack from here. Double click to open and follow the on screen instructions to complete the installation process. Step 2. Install Kali Linux. Please go to Kali.org. Select Download. Well, there are two options available. Virtual Machine option is easy and suitable for most of the users. Please choose the one based on your need. I'll show you both one after another. Let's start with Virtual Machine option. Please select 32 or 64 based on your PC. And click on this download icon. This may take some time based on your internet speed. Once download completed, open VirtualBox. Go to File. Select Import Appliances. Now please go ahead and select the Kali Linux VirtualBox file that we have downloaded. All these settings comes from the pre-build image file. One thing that you might want to change is, the place where the Kali Linux will be physically stored on your PC. Please select Import. It could run for some time, so please be patient. Once installed, you can optionally go to settings and change any of these configurations based on your need. But for most of us, let's go ahead and click on start. Your Kali Linux boots up and you will shortly see username and password prompt. These credentials are provided in the download page itself. As you can see both username and password is Kali, all in lower case. If needed, you can change the view based on your preference. Finally, we are now at fully functional Kali Linux virtual machine. Let me quickly show you how to install from ISO file. Please choose bare metal. Download the ISO file from here. Download may take some time based on your internet speed. Once download completes, please open VirtualBox. Select new over here. Please give name of your choice. 
Ensure that the type is Linux and version is Debian. You can set memory as per your need, but please choose within green range. Select Create. You can also change the VDI path based on where you have available space. You can customize hard disk size based on your need. This creates a new virtual machine. Choose the same and select Settings. Go to System. Please select only optical and hard disk and disable other. Under processor enable PAE slash NX. Go to display, increase the video memory to 128. And ensure acceleration is not selected. Please go to storage and mount the ISO file that we have downloaded. You can leave most of the other settings as is, and click on OK. We are now ready to boot and install Kali Linux. Go ahead and select Start. Feel free to change the view as you wish. Use your keyboard to select Graphical Install and hit Enter. Please select Language Settings. Enter host name, most of these names are your choice so enter as you wish. Please enter domain name. And enter username. Set password, please remember it because you need to give this every time you log into Kali. Over here choose yes and hit next. Select your VDI and click on continue. Installation is almost done, please click on continue. In case if your virtual machine boots into ISO file again, please remove the ISO file from settings storage. Enter the username and password that you have created. We are finally at fully functional Kali Linux virtual machine. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, please add your comments below, I'll respond to you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you so much for watching.